everyone! In today's video, we are going to be unboxing January 2020's version of BoxyCharm, just the base box. BoxyCharm is $25 a month plus tax, so I think it comes out to about $27, but you do get five full sized items valuing at, I think, $100. $25. I could be wrong. Uh, I think it's $125 or $150. Um, and I'm proud to say I've looked at all these products already um, because I like to check to see if they're cruelty free. Um, and this month my whole box is cruelty free so I will be able to use everything and I'm just thrilled about that. Alright so jumping right in. Um, the, th uh, the theme of the box is breaking the ice. Uh, nice wintry theme. <clears throat> Um, and the first, we'll just, um, start opening everything right now. I've taken some things out of the packages and I've actually tried a few of the products so far. <clears throat> All right. So the first thing is from Pretty Vulgar. It is the undercover concealer valuing, uh, retailing at $25. This is what it looks like. Um, nice pale shade. They are, uh, starting to incorporate uh, skin complexion items into the box, which I think is really great. Um, I haven't swatched this yet. I'm going to put it on my hand right now. And then grabbing my beauty sponge. Mm, I don't know where my beauty sponge is. So I'm just going to, I guess, blend it in, dab it in my hand and it is a perfect match that's great so um, like I said that values at $25 definitely something I'll be using uh, the next item is from Ace Bo it's Ace Bote I had to look up the pronunciation I know a lot of people say it differently but I wanted to be <laughs> right um, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I didn't get the pink shades. I got more of the neutrals. And I don't, don't want to swatch it quite yet. I'm going, trying to work my way through a few other palettes before I start uh, merging into some other ones. Even though the this is pr probably one of the prettiest palettes I own now. Um, what I used today, I used a blend of Tati Beauty's uh, textured neutrals and um, uh, ColourPop's Sweet Talk palette. <clears throat> and I used the shade Meadow for my, for my crease. But this one's actually um, pretty well used. Um, I'll have I have probably one, two, three, four, five shades that I haven't used yet, but um, I think I could get use out of that pretty quickly. All right, moving on. Uh, the neck, uh, the eyeshadow palette retails for thirty four ninety nine. That's a um, I probably wouldn't pay thirty four ninety nine for a palette that small. I did pay that much, if not. I think I paid like $50 for Tati's palette. But I've heard really great things about this. I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of use out of it. All right, uh, the next thing is from Skin & Co. Uh, it is the Face Gamage, Truffle Therapy Face Gamage, which is um, just a different way of saying exfoliating, uh, exfoliator. It's a delicate exfoliating cream and I have used this the past two nights. My skin feels great. It, uh, it's kind of like an apricot scrub, but not as harsh. Um, it smells like almonds and um, it's gluten-free, uh, uh, BPA-free, GMO-free and vegan and cruelty-free. No sulfates, parabens, mineral oils, or um, the phthalates, um, yeah. So it's definitely a, a good exfoliator. You don't wanna exfoliate every day though. I need to take a break for a couple of days. Um, 
definitely something I'd recommend though because it's very nice on your skin. That retails at $28. And then the next thing I can't believe um, is retailing at $107. I haven't tried anything from this brand before. Um, so, and my skin is really sensitive, so I'm gonna need to do a patch test with um, this one because I haven't, I haven't used this brand before. Um, it is cruelty free, retailing at $107. That is absolutely insane. Uh, it is 1.69 fluid ounces. It is an eight hour radiance renewal sleeping mask. So you um, you just put it on your skin and go to bed You and you don't need to uh, wash it off. So yeah, definitely something I will be trying out. I've noticed some fine lines under my eyes and I think um, I think this might help out um, I'm no professional um, with skincare or makeup or anything I'm just um, stating my thoughts um, also gonna be looking into the ingredients um, I'm really into cleaner products I don't want to put a lot of harsh chemicals on my skin um, and they do say um, discontinue if redness or irritation occurs. Do not ingest, obviously. Um, <clears throat> but definitely, um, I like these subscription boxes because it introduces you to new brands. <coughs> All right, and then the last item in the box is from Mana Kadar Beauty. It is a lip whip and the shade Faith. It is a pretty color. I'll swatch it on my hand. Um, I thought it would be like a, a balm, but it, it's like a liquid lip. You just kind of, um, oh, that's gorgeous. It's a nice, pretty, pretty wintry color. I could probably wear that in the summer too. Um, but definitely a kind of shade that I would wear. Um, this retails at $21. All right, and that's everything that I got in the box. Definitely five great products. Definitely all things that I'll use. Like I said, I'll have to um, do a patch test for this just to make sure uh, it doesn't um, cause any skin irritation. But overall, I think it's a good uh, good box. You get your few uh, couple beauty items and then a couple skincare items, so it's a nice blend of the two. I know. Um, some other things in the box you could have gotten a Too Faced highlighter I was really hoping I did get that but that's okay I'll use all these products and then there was another glow the glow recipe watermelon mask I wanted to try that out kind of disappointed I didn't get that either um but it's okay I um I can't complain about this this box because they're all really great products if you um got the same variation I did. Uh, I got variation 25. 25, um, uh, let me know what you got if you got this box. What did you get? What didn't you get? Um, if I got something you didn't, let me know. Just uh, comment your thoughts. Feel free to subscribe or ring the little bell in the corner and get notified when I up, uh, upload new content. Um, I'm trying to get better with this. I know, I know I'm not great at it now, uh, but it's definitely definitely fun for me definitely something different um to keep me entertained I'm not trying to make money off of it just doing it for fun I pay um for my own subscriptions none of these are sponsored so uh if you like these feel free to subscribe and just stay tuned for my next video all right bye